Hello, I'm Karen and in today's video I want to share with you the amazing link, uh, which is a crochet link between the Voynich Manuscript and William Shakespeare. Okay, so for those of you that have not been watching my videos, for this last year I've been deciphering the Voynich Manuscript and I've found the crochet patterns inside them and also I've started to learn how to turn the symbols into the English letters of the alphabet and I've got up to the letter W. So this particular pattern here, this is the picture of the thistles. This is on page F2R in the Fornic Manuscript. Um, and I just, this is the book that I'm using. Okay, and so I've shared some videos of how to make this particular triangle. So, and the way that, the, the way that I've perceived everything to be going is that the section that I'm doing is Queen Elizabeth I. She's actually doing the codes and the games to be able to play for King James because he then becomes King James the first okay so um, like I said this one makes the actual triangle and what I had to do with the triangle as part of this game was we line up this one with this middle thistle so that we just get them in the right place there and then through the window we can actually see I'm just going to get my magnifying glass so you can see so you can see the letter J okay the letter J was the tenth letter of the alphabet um, previously, what they used to do is just used to have a straight line that represented the letter I and the J in the alphabet. So we're in the time where the alphabet is changing over. We've got things like the U being swapped over for the letter V and we end up with the 26 letters of the alphabet. OK, so part of the clues as well of me finding this triangle was um, that so this is the star that I had to make. And this was the one that gave me the clues to be able to see through the actual gaps for the windows. This is made from the triple crochet stitch, which in the Voynich manuscript is represented by the number eight. And in this one here is the double treble crochet, which is re represented by an eight. But there's things in between and the eight so it's still using those eights, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to share. So this is my copy. This is um, this book was actually done in 1955, but it is actually in the original of William Shakespeare's Comedies, Histories and Tragedies. And on this side of the page, we've actually got to the reader. So, um, and when I first actually read this, I actually was reading it, you know, as in that Shakespeare's passed away. However... Here, so it says, this figure that thou here seest put. Okay, if we do that backwards, put seest here. Okay, so these shapes that I was making became seers, so you can see through the windows. So what we do with this one is we actually um, line this up so that what you do is you end up getting the eye through the window there. And when we just, I'm just going to just get it lined up so then I can show you. So we have to tilt it slightly, because if we do it that way, we can get both of his eyes through. But if I tilt it slightly to one side there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get my magnifying glass so you can see. So we can see his eye, was that focusing on there? The eye through the window there. And then down here, we can see we've got the number eight through the window there. And over here let me just move that because something's in my way there is the other number eight and then at the very bottom we can also see that we've got the eight peeping out here so we've got three lots of eight which like i said this is the double treble so we've got a, the two eights so we've got the double and then the third one which is a treble so i can see a double treble crochet which is the triangle which it fits over so this book was actually obviously done in 1623. Voynich Manuscript, I know is, the actual book is dated to be um, between 1404, I think, and 1438. That's the actual book itself. The text itself has not been proven when that was actually written. So the other clue that I've got is the star. So if we actually line up the star with the... Um, points of the actual collar I want to make sure this is actually straight so it's lining up correctly and so then we can see that there is actually it is one letter is showing through there just so that we put my um there we can't, I'm sorry I can't focus it now but if we move that out of the way we can see that is actually the letter e yeah okay so the e is to represent the queen 
So my actual original point of sharing this information was because I wanted to prove that the Vaughanif manuscript is crochet. I've now got a definite link between Shakespeare. However, this actually went down one, another one of those rabbit holes and I actually now understand much more about the codes that I've been using and I can demonstrate how Shakespeare himself was using the methods to be able to invent the new words that is created. And I'll share that in another video because that's a lot more complex, but I just wanted you to see what I can see for now so that you can actually see for yourself that, let me just get that in the right place, that this triangle made from the Voynich manuscript fits into Shakespeare's image. Thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, thank you for subscribing. Bye for now.